I thought I hopefully would have had my answer, and I don't. And I'm just tired. I just want to. I just want to heal. You know. <laughs> Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're already subscribed. If you're new here, I just want to let you know I do beauty videos, self-improvement videos, and pole dancing videos. So if that tickles your fancy, feel free to hit that subscribe button. So today I just want to do a sit down, a little chat, a little update on my pole dancing injury. If you've been following me, maybe you even found my channel through pole dancing, you might know that I have an injury. This is just going to be an MRI update video, kind of like where I'm at, how it's going. I did actually film um, okay, so backtrack a bit. So I got my MRI done. I should have an MRI vlog up, which is actually really boring, but I should have it up by the time you see this video. Anyways, now it is, it the, is future, the future, and I have had my MRI done, and uh... Yeah, I actually did film a video right when I got my results. I don't know if I'm gonna put it in or not. That's what she said. Ugh, cause I was like, okay, I guess I'm gonna explain the results first. So I got my results back and it turns out that on the MRI it says everything's fine. Like there's no injury, no visible injury, which is like, you'd think that I'd be happy and that, that would be like, yay, I'm not injured. But like, I know something's wrong. And even my physiotherapist said when I brought it to him, he was like, just cause it doesn't pop up on the MRI doesn't mean there's not something wrong with your shoulder. Like you're not crazy basically so I said it could be more of a systematic kind of a uh injury like it could be like a myriad of different things like it's clear like I know the specific moment where something happened so there's been some sort of shock to the system is how he described it so I don't know we don't really have any kind of diagnosis and so here's where I don't know if I'm gonna include the clip right after I got the results because I filmed that for you guys because I was so emotional you wouldn't think I'd be but I was just like I was just mad at the system because first of all they they didn't let me know it like they didn't call me because it was fine they didn't tell me that they wouldn't call me if it was fine. Like, I get it when, you know, when you get an STD check and you're like, oh, if we don't call you within a week, you're fine. But I was told that I would get a call within a week and it never called me, so I had to go up myself. I was, like, mad because in my head I'm thinking something is wrong and my physiotherapist had said they might have to go in with a camera if they can't see it on the MRI. And then I was thinking in my head, I'm like, okay, now I'm gonna have to go back to my physiotherapist, tell them what's going on, then... Uh, go back to the doctor and I've been nagging the doctors a lot about things like n not just like my thing But like I'm on the waitlist for a psychiatrist and so I just feel like I'm just like the middleman And I was just like really emotional and super like fuck the, fuck system, the system and stuff Maybe I will include the clip. It's kind of entertaining. I guess I'm just like I'm just pissed I'm such an emotional being if you guys know me or you follow me or whatever, you know that I'm just really emotional. If I include it, I'm gonna put it in here. Okay, so my battery's about to die, but I really want to get to come on here. And I'm a bit of a mess, but I wanna catch these raw moments, I guess. So I just went up to the doctor, cause the doctor got like the answer to the MRI or the results were supposed to go for my doctor. Like, I don't, I am so fucking annoyed with this system, which is what I'm gonna get to. It's supposed to take one week for them to get the answer of my MRI, you know, if something's wrong or not, around one week. And then now it's been two weeks, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna up to the doctor and see what's up like why don't I have my answer yet so the lady basically just says she goes and looks on my file and she's like oh well you haven't been called because it, nothing's wrong and I'm like I get it with STDs that they don't call you if it's uh, all fine I get that because they usually say a set time specifically or like if we don't call you within a week it's fine. I wasn't told this at all with this thing. Like, they said they'd call me with the re whatever the results were basically within a week and they didn't fucking call me. I'm mad at that, for one. I think what I'm more mad at is the fact that it, like, is all fine. She's like, there's nothing wrong or, like, whatever she said. And I'm like... No, I know something's wrong and my physiotherapist said that they might not see it on the MRI and that if they didn't see it on the MRI they would want to do further inspection on my shoulder so like put a camera in there like I don't know what it's called and the doctor now or like not that it was a receptionist that told me but she didn't say anything about that so I just know that now it's gonna take longer to have an answer and like it's so stupid I feel like the middleman, like the system is just like, oh, you gotta talk to this person, or like, you, this person sends you to that person, that person sends you to that person, and like, why, why isn't this, isn't like, this coordinated? like coordinated? Why don't, why you, don't guys you guys have a fucking system, system, system for this? For like, this. they should automatically now have sent me to further inspection because my physiotherapist said there's obviously something wrong here. We need, like, to find out, 
you know, and he said that what they would do is look further into my shoulder if they didn't find anything. Now she's like saying it's all fine and now I know what's gonna happen now is I have to go to my physiotherapist and tell him, oh, she said everything's fine and he's gonna bitch and complain just as I am about how, well now you gotta go back there again and say, hey, I need further inspection and it's just like this back and forth battle and it's just, uh, and then I'll be on a wait list for another inspection. <laughs> And it's just like, ugh. I just wanted answers, you know? I'm just tired of waiting and I'm not just waiting for like, I've been having other things checked out. One thing I don't necessarily want to talk about on here. And I put, I was on a wait list for that. And then I'm on a wait list for a psychologist. And now, you know, it's, I just want answers. And I just want, I just want to be able to heal, but I can't heal until like, I know for sure like that nothing's wrong and the MRI scan doesn't necessarily tell you that because like I said I've said before like a million times in this video they might have to go in like it might be so small that they might have to go in with a camera like they can't see it on the MRI and it's just like I thought I hopefully would have had my answer and I don't. So I just want to add here while I'm editing that I think that one of the reasons I was so upset is because I was expecting like an answer like just a straight answer like this is what's wrong now we can like operate and then you gotta heal and like you know just like having that answer is something I guess I was kind of wanting even if it's a negative answer even if it's like you know you need surgery because if I had an answer to what's going on then it's like I feel like I can heal properly but now that like we don't have a straight answer and we're just gonna you know try working out more see if it gets better it's just like so much uncertainty in the air and I'd rather just like know this is what's going on this is the solution I hope that makes sense. I didn't really explain that in this clip, so I just wanted to add that here. And I'm just tired. I just want to. I just want to heal, you know. And I can tell that this isn't something that's gonna go away with exercise. Like I don't know if this is making sense. I know some people might think I'm a drama queen and like, why are you crying? Like, but it's like. I'm so ready to heal, but I feel like I can't because potentially I need a surgery and like the system is just fucking fucked. I'm so mad at the system. This is to not related to my surgery, but I've been waiting to see a psychologist for like five months maybe now. And like, I'm fine now. Like I'm actually really happy right now. Since like January 1st, like to 2020, I've been like in a really good mood. So don't worry about me mentally. I'm doing pretty good right now, but I'm just fucking, I'm just so done. Like I just want answers. Like, can you guys can get, you your, get shit your shit together? Shit. Have some utter beef with Norway. I love Norway, but also Norway's not all it's fucking made up to be when it comes to healthcare and when it comes to law. <laughs> I went, I have, yeah. I went to court. I was not the person who commit, committed a crime, but I was in court, Norwegian court, and it was not just. If anything, I'd say my human rights were violated, but that's a whole other topic that I'm gonna open up about one day in the future. <laughs> I'm just, I feel like that, like, person that's like fuck the system but like I've never actually had to be in the system like this before because I never had like an injury and previous to what happened to me I never was involved in any crime like as a victim so I've never like been in the system but the past two years I have and I'm like you don't know what's wrong with the system until you need the system and uh, yeah I'm fucking mad I'm, I'm just like are you kidding me I'm <laughs> why can't, why can't things just things work this is Norway for fuck's sake you'd think that it would work but mm -mm. uh uh but it's also not that much better in Canada, like... <sighs> the world's just fucked, guys. <laughs> Conclusion to this video. <laughs> what is what this is even? This what is, is my, channel? my channel? What, what is life? life? What is what I just want to say I'm fine when I make because my last video where I was crying people were like are you okay like giving me all the support and I can cry one moment and genuinely feel those emotions and then like I'll usually have a little meltdown and then I'll like pick myself up and I'll like I'm fine I'm actually doing really good but like in the background there's this going on of course but like considering I'm doing really good so don't don't be concerned for me I just I do want to show this side of things and I hope that someone appreciates it and maybe you guys can relate I hopefully someone can relate and if you do please let me know I want to connect with you guys <laughs> you know doing this partly for me but also for you guys i had way too much coffee today too i literally just did my eyebrows <laughs> so i'm like red hair and like i'm red hair from crying i'm i'm just a mess guys at this very moment i'm gonna go bye guys <laughs> like it's just me crying and being a mess so it's like do i really want to release that but at the same time like i want to be vulnerable anyways the path forward now i'm actually so pumped because <laughs> because 
I'm okay. Okay. Can I can I talk? I just don't know where to start. I okay. <laughs> he basically said that now that we have an answer, like there's nothing like very visible, like there's no injury that we're like, yeah, we have to operate, like you need a surgery. So he said we can probably we can do more now than he he thought we could. So he was being precautionary up until we had the results. So now I've started like actual more like you know, actual weight training, like more of a heavy weights and like but not like too much but like more he said like the other stuff wasn't as like training training if that makes sense like it wasn't yeah anyways i'm doing the the uh, bench press like the one where you lay down and you're doing this and then <laughs> i just feel like i should include a little clip here just saying that i filmed this video before this whole coronavirus thing went really crazy like all over the world yes i'm posting this video a bit late obviously i mean you can tell by my hair but i just wanted to say that and so a lot of what I say here like I'm not able to go to my physiotherapist to train and stuff So right now I'm just focusing on my stretching and trying just to you know stay positive with regards to my shoulder Even though I will be losing some progress and stuff that's not important in the grand scheme of like a pandemic going on My progress will be affected by it But I am trying to just stay positive and and you know really honing in on my stretching routine and looking at that and trying to yeah, whatever. I don't know how to <laughs> I don't know how to say it basically. I'm not going to be progressing too fast now anymore with physiotherapy, but you know what? People are dying. I'm just excited. I'm I'm excited. I'm excited. I've had definitely had moments of encouragement in discouragement, 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 discouragement. I've definitely had moments of discouragements and stuff and so yeah. So that is the way forward is to now start to train more actual like weightlifting if that makes sense or actual more like training training like now we know that there's nothing like super oh I forgot to introduce you guys to bubble butt this is bubble butt squirrel squirrel so it's just gonna be now it's gonna be actual like training still paying attention and being cautious I feel like now I have to real I have to learn to trust myself or like to listen to my body it's like this whole I have to build this whole new relationship with my body because I've also started stretching I filmed some stuff for that I'm gonna document my stretching and I had a fucking meltdown on the yoga mat because I felt like clicking in my shoulder and I was just mad because I finally decided I was gonna do the needle it's just kind of a bit of a journey for sure this whole injury thing because I have to learn to trust myself but not trust myself too much I have to accept being slow I have caught myself wanting to put more and more weight on wanting to go like crazy like I've caught myself in that same mindset that got me into the injury to begin with so it's like I don't know I don't know how to explain it maybe someone out there who has an injury or has had one knows what I mean it's like I need to find a good balance between listening to my body and not pushing myself too hard but also not being super negative and, and being like I can't do this because of my shoulder or whatever like when I had the meltdown on the yoga mat I was like I can't do the needle I'm, I can't do this like I can't do it. I, I was feeling really discouraged because it's almost like I'm scared of injuring myself more or like even today at the gym or at the physiotherapist I started feeling something in my other shoulder like like it was clicking a bit and he said that that can be normal when you're first learning a workout and just like I guess that I said a part of me is paranoid about injuries now and about making it worse and so it's hard to find that happy medium balance I don't know if anyone out there can relate to what I'm saying if you can and you've had an injury let me know I would love to connect more with you guys I have gotten so many wonderful messages from you guys and comments from you guys regarding my injury and I just want to say thank you to all of you guys there's more people out there than you'd think that have injuries with pole dancing I mean I guess you would think that because pole dancing is a pretty intense sport but this was a really rambly video I just really wanted to update you guys so I guess I don't have a labrum tear then that uh, I don't know what else it could be. Maybe so someone out there knows what it might be if it's not a labrum tear, if it's more systemic. I just realized I slouch a lot. I gotta sit up like a queen, baby. I guess that's the end of the video. I honestly don't have a top comment today because I'm really just filming this like spontaneously. Like I said, I thank you to all of you guys who've, co who've commented regarding my injury and connected with me and I think it's important that we talk about these things because to prevent injuries because I think that because we don't talk too much about it they, it doesn't seem like something that's likely to happen but it, they're m much more prominent than we hear about 
I guess. So I guess share this video if you know someone who's injured. It doesn't have to be pole dancing. That's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed somehow. If you did, give me a like and consider subscribe. Subs uh, subs <laughs> consider subscribe. <laughs> Consider subscribing to my channel. I also totally forgot to plug my Instagram account for like probably the past like 50 videos So if you want to follow me on Instagram, my name is Mary Christina on there, and I think that's about it I hope that I clarified What's going on if you guys have any questions regarding my injury or anything related to my injury that you guys want me to document Let me know. I am gonna be documenting my stretching journey now and learning the needle anyways. I'm fucking babbling. I have no social life I'm gonna go see you guys Woo!